Bohut Tashi Dele. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is doing good. And uh, welcome back to the Lojong session. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, so very much as usual, try to start uh, the session uh, with a correct motivation of altruism. And that also uh, actualize on the basis of uh, going refuge in Buddha Dharma Sangha. Mm. Uh, then after that, uh, make salutation to the founding of the teaching, the Guru Shajimani Buddha, and the, the channel where the lineage come all the way up to us. Uh, <clears throat> uh, salutation to the lineage guru. Oh, we do that, okay? Sangye jodan zoje jodan la janju badu dane ja zoje da ye je zoje be sonam je dola benje sangye dobarai Sangye jodan zoje jodan la janju badu dane ja zoje da ye je zoje be sonam je dola benje sangye dobarai Sangye jodan zoje jodan la janju badu dane ja zoje da ye je zoje be sonam je dola benje sangye dobarai jo Semje damje dewa da dewe jodan demra joje semje damje dunga da dunga je jodan dawra joje semje damje dunga me be dewa da mi dawra joje semje damje nire cha da nye dan da ta nyo la ne bara joro je semje damje dewa da dewe jodan demra joje semje damje dunga da dunga je jodan dawra joje semje damje dunga me be dewa da mi dawra joje Semje damje nire ja da nye da nda ve da nyo la ne bra ju ro je. Semje damje de wa da de ve ju da nde bra ju je. Semje damje du nga da du nga je ju da nda wa ju je. Semje damje du nga me be de wa da me da wa ju je. Semje damje nire ja da nye da nda ve da nyo la ne bra ju ro je. Kangi doze ne zone da wa dam je ba me jire da me je ne den je ba go dam de la cha che lo. Tu ni ni je zon do je be lam se je se je gan je den je gue cha na be mo den zen ja zo la so wa dem zo da ju chen je lo. Oh ya. Ok so. Uh, so I think first of all, uh, it would be beneficial for us to um, express gratitude uh, very much uh, about everything uh, that comes in our way uh, <clears throat> as a general as a Buddhist practitioner, in particularly uh, Mahayanic Buddhist practitioner. Within that, uh, someone really, uh, you know, take the Buddha's pit instruction is very much the Lojong teaching as a day-to-day -day, uh, guideline to our life. Uh, and as for such practitioner, then <clears throat> everything, you know, uh, all kind of experiences, uh, good and bad, happiness and suffering, success and failure, hmm? uh, everything hmm? uh, has a meaning, uh, have benefited to develop our heart mm. uh, should and have used uh, all those experiences to mm, uh, to actualize our inner value mm. uh, really to um, you know tease to manifest 
our our fundamental the real attitude which is the altruistic attitude which is the love and compassion mm -hmm. and then uh, the altruistic wisdom the wisdom of selfless wisdom of emptiness uh -huh. so in the expense of altruism uh, love compassion bodhicitta and emptiness or bodhicitta and emptiness hmm? uh, entire experiences genuinely you know become a path uh, path to enlightenment uh, path uh, which really carry the, the antidote to purify entire impurities uh, <clears throat> so therefore uh, someone that who who really understand dharma who really uh, practice lojong uh, then uh, uh, even in the experience of uh, problem and suffering mm, uh, we can still uh, you know remain calm and will not lose the inner coolness of uh, inner peace. Mm. <clears throat> Our heart will have no room to experience uh, the disturbances, you know, from physical sicknesses, uh, environmental uh, obstructions, including of, yeah, so so whatever whatever the that um, obstacles that uh, that you know we day to day um, uh, faced mm -hmm. you know as as a true practitioner there's no room there's no room to 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 be affected to be uh, disturbed by that because your heart uh, going to be completely filled with uh, wisdom uh, mm, uh, uh, wisdom, uh, if you know, best wisdom of emptiness. You know, everything, uh, all those ex all those negativities, all those problems. You know, you you able to purify in emptiness. You able to dissolve them in emptiness. Mm. Uh, mm, uh, uh, or uh, you take them uh, as an opportunity to express uh, your altruism. Mm -hmm. So that way, <clears throat> you develop yourself uh, to the liberation, you know, uh, and in, in immediate benefit, uh, uh, your um, overall of yourself is not affected. You can be uh, your heart will be uh, filled with uh, purposes, you know, filled with meaning, uh, filled with fulfill fulfillment, uh, you see, because you're able to take the sufferings uh, onto the path. So uh, you're able to uh, utilize the suffering experiences uh, as to purify your own karma, uh, which is so hard to purify so hard to uh, come by the antidotes, the opportunities. <clears throat> most, of, most of the time we are completely distracted by uh, the material distractions, samsaric distractions, sensual uh, distraction, in particularly the uh, distraction of sensual uh, pleasures. Uh, the worldly wanderings, you know, will distract us and never give us opportunity to purify. Um, that way, you know, this short lifespan uh, pass, uh, mm, uh, how sometime without noticing the day passes and the night arrive. Mm, uh, sometimes we are so distracted until that, uh, you know, we don't realize, you know, how, how today disappear and tomorrow arrive. You know, and that could be the, the situation uh, that that could be similar situation to life and death. 
you know, so before get opportunity to purify, uh, the death may arrive, uh, you know, uh, first. If that could, if that happens, then the consequences of those negativities, which which are unable to purify in this uh, life of opportunity, then in future life, you know, very much we have to experience unbearable suffering. So can you imagine in human life, those bearable suffering also so miserable. So if we need to experience the suffering of animals, suffering of uh, hungry ghosts, suffering of uh, hell being, uh, then that going to be, you know, uh, unimaginable. It's, you know, unbearable, uh, you see. So therefore, <clears throat> so therefore, sufferings are, uh, you know, from the perspective of Dharma, sufferings are very much like a, like 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 a you win lottery, <laughs> you win you win a jackpot, <laughs> you know, billion dollar jackpot, <laughs> uh, uh, like that, you know. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, so then you will have a, you know you have a long good holiday uh, in higher higher rebirths. Uh, you know, including of pure lands, uh, even Buddhahood, you know, once you purify all negativities, you know, uh, even possibility of actualizing liberation and enlightenment, uh, you see. So therefore, so therefore, uh, we have to understand this, you know, uh, when problem and sufferings comes in our way, uh, it is truly, uh, it's like, a it is a blessing, it's a given opportunity to really, really to eradicate, in particularly those of definite karma, uh, which, which anyway we have to experience. And if we delay even one moment, uh, you know, that uh, carry the power of increasing the magnitude, the intensity of the consequences of that karma, you know. So therefore, <clears throat> uh, while, while uh, our heart uh, connected to the Dharma, the environment we, where we are in, uh, still, you know, there are so many inspirations of the Dharma, mm? in particularly having the mind training practices, you know, the bodhicitta practice, emptiness practices in your life. Mm? So that time, whatever definite karma uh, that accumulated from the past of those problems, suffering, you know, arises now, and then as a practitioner, you know, one should feel blessed you see, so uh, uh, on top of that, then uh, <clears throat> apply uh, either the attitude or either the wisdom uh, to really to you know uh, make it effective development of the path. Uh, you see, so therefore, uh, very much uh, you know, uh, very much no one, you know, those uh, no no one, me and you. <clears throat> uh, uh, as long as we carry this contaminated samsaric aggregates, uh, you know, um, there's there's no there's there's no freedom from problem. There's no freedom from from uh, you know difficulties in, in life, isn't it? <clears throat> and sometimes you know we we don't realize um, uh, those uh, those wisdom to. Uh, you know, transform those problems onto the path. <clears throat> uh, so therefore, uh, if in case we have, we have unable to do that in, before, at least now, you know, you rejoice, you rejoice of those problems and those sufferings that you went through. Mm -hmm. uh, then now you compensate. <laughs> so, so now you can compensate yourself uh, of those uh, period of you know difficult time, with abundance of uh, you know joy and meaning right now with this understanding, you know, and try to live as deep imprint as possible, that in the future, whenever any inconvenience comes, even death comes in my way, that I will have the mindfulness uh, to take uh, all those experiences on the path to enlightenment, okay? So, yeah, so just, uh, uh, yeah, just thought to share that. Okay, so before getting too much distraction, I better go through the text. 
so we are studying uh, the the uh, lojong the mind training the great collection the classical texts and we are <clears throat> uh, on um, chapter 22 eight sessions mind training and from the eight sessions we have completed uh, up to the third session so today we will go through the fourth one um, if you are using this the similar volume so we are on page 230 so <clears throat> um, you know this this, this teaching uh, I, I, yeah I've, I've already I've already uh, given the introduction you know brief uh, preparatory uh, kind of teaching, um, you know, before we, we started, um, um, yeah, at the very beginning of, you know, starting of this this text, as well as I think in the last session. So I don't have to spend too much time on that because it is necessary for us to have a preparatory, you know, um, idea or the teaching to, to really to, you know, uh, understand uh, the purpose of you know this very very drastic practice, you know some of this, some of these uh, practices, of course it, it is is so profound, and so beneficial, so meaningful, it, it really act a direct antidote to slash away the root cause of our problem, root cause of our samsara. <clears throat> you know, uh, the self cherishing attitude and self grasping attitude. Uh, yeah, you see. And uh, very much, very much, uh, as a as a human, our um, aggregates, in particularly the physical aggregates, is one of a very, very um, obvious object for us to you know get attached um, and uh, grasp mistakenly and cling on to those mistaken views, and that makes us. Uh, you know, a lot of trouble in relation to our our existence, in particular our physical existence. At this very present moment, you know, uh, there's a danger of committing a lot of negativities in relation to our physical body. Uh, you see, <clears throat> uh, uh, misusing of this physical body, or uh, because of you know different sort of hormones. Uh, that may indulge in different delusional acts, you know, using this body, etc. Uh, then, uh, most of all, uh, there's so much attachment grasping uh, that we very much spend, you know, most of our life, most of most of our time in day to day, to to really to, uh, you know, serve this body and protect this body. So, in the in the in the in the course of protecting this body. Serving this body, you know, uh, uh, we may engage in wrong livelihoods. We may, you know, uh, engage in sexual misconduct. We may engage in um, lying, you know, stealing, uh, killing, you know, etc., etc. <clears throat> you see, just to sustain this body, you know, <clears throat> like such as in the name of protein, you know, we may even cause life of innocent animals. And we fit to 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 get you know to to strengthen our body, etc. Uh, you see, <clears throat> uh, then uh, worse than that, uh, we have this um, you know wrong view of uh, substantial existence uh, uh, of this body in our uh, in our perception, uh, and that is the very much uh, call it very much you know one of the the, um, the, the deepest ignorant. Uh, on the basis of that, then we we construct this false uh, identity of ourselves, you know, the inherent existence self, and we grasp onto that as if, you know, the I exists uh, within the body, or I exists, uh, you know, um, over all of the body, or or in one part of the body, you know, in whatever way. Is very much that I very much substantially exist, uh, you know, of the body. Uh, you see, so those are 
uh, very profound and it, uh, you know the grasping to to those wrong views are uh, called ignorant in mean, ignorant grasping and and that ignorant grasping you know this sim this just 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 expressing this word we don't feel how danger it is but in fact it is so danger that this is the basis this wrong view is the basis where develop all the rest of the delusions like six root delusions 20 secondary delusions uh, you know afflictive emotions you know then from there you know uh, involved in so many different non virtues like such as you know 10 non virtues etc etc uh, you see so <clears throat> uh, so therefore the practice like such as this the 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 fourth session mind training partnering to flesh and blood uh, uh, you know the meditation that guided from here uh, when we don't know the, the the actual meaning of the meditation, actual purpose of the meditation, you know, we may find there's no meaning. We may find, you know, yeah, you know, it's kind of like awful, you know, dirty. You know? Uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, some people may even feel <laughs> uh, disturbing, you know, uh, so bloody, you know, like kind of that, you know, and you may even some people may even have a nightmare, <laughs> you know, uh, doing doing this kind of uh, visualizations, you know. Uh, but if we know the purpose, then if the self-grasping ignorant, uh, you know, get scared, then which is which is so meaningful. If the self-grasping ignorant get nightmare, then which is so meaningful, you know. Uh, so that means uh, the antidote is e effective. So so anyway. It is a very powerful practice to uh, purify the, the root uh, root cause of all our problems. Mm, so that's one thing, mm, and, and 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 that way we can bring uh, you know uh, protection to future accumulations of negative karma in relation to that. Uh, then <clears throat> and also is a very powerful practice of uh, charity. You know, very powerful practice to release the. Uh, the negative mind of miserliness, which is which is an, uh, another you know big obstacle for our success, you know mundane spiritual success, uh, you know to uh, it is a big obstacle for us to enjoy the abundance, uh, you know in in mundane life as well as in spiritual life, you know. <clears throat> so therefore, <clears throat> as a Bodhisattva practitioner, as altruistic practitioner, you know everything uh, to be given. Uh, for the purpose of sentient beings' happiness, you know, everything to be shared uh, for the well-being of a sentient being, you know. Uh, uh, so every single, um, even conventionally, you know, every single existent uh, to be uh, to be an offerings, to be an an object of charity to the sentient being, you know. Eventually, when we develop greater strength in the in altruism, then uh, they may. Uh, come to a point that we literally have to give away our 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 body, you know, our organs, our limbs, you know, like that. Uh, you see, so so therefore, uh, at this very moment, for us to just to do the training in our meditation, you know, that um, accumulates so much good causes, uh, develop our Buddhist path. You know, eventually, we, you know, uh, we 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 will literally. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, live live a life even within this lifetime you know through the practice we are able to live a life completely free from uh, bondage of attachment in relation to you know uh, entire existence including our, our body like that so anyway so now the the words are very clear there's nothing much need to explain so I just read so it says like this uh, mind training the fourth the mind training partnering to flesh and blood fourth to engage in mind training, partnering to flesh and blood, cultivate the thoughts. So first, before any meditation, uh, you you generate uh, right motivation, which is the altruistic motivation. How to do that? You know, think like this. Uh, I will attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings, and to this end, I will engage in mind training, partnering to flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. So. Not just reciting the word, you know, not just saying the word simply just for the sake of saying, but you really have to express the voice, it mean it from your heart, you know, from the depth of heart, you see. So whether you 
say the word, uh, you know, exactly the line, what 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 stated in the text or not, but it has to be you know, genuine expressions of uh, that you are doing this practice uh, for the enlightenment of yourself and all sentient beings. Uh, then after the motivation, uh, then you visualize like this. Then visualize your room filled with flesh and blood and imagine that uh, upon your uh, summoning all the hungry ghosts that are at, um, attached to flesh and blood gather in your presence. Okay, so then after that, so that's as I mentioned before, it can be quite scary for, for someone who don't, who don't know the meaning you know, of this practice. Uh, uh, you see, um, when you do such practice here, uh, instead of you know uh, inviting um, you know those harmful ghosts, <laughs> hungry ghosts, uh, flesh eaters, in fact you gain a meritorious protection if if there's any you know uh, past karma to get harm from them you know through these practices. Because this practice is an antidote to all the all the negative forms, uh, you see. So therefore, we don't have to. Uh, it, it just it is just a training. It is just a powerful meritorious visualization, uh, you know. <clears throat> um, as I as I mentioned before, you know. So so you don't have to doubt. You know, if I if I do this kind of visualization, will I invite you know spirit into my my house? You know, there's no such thing. <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so then, <clears throat> so you you visualize, you know, for the for the purpose of the meditation, you visualize, you know, vividly, uh, really to tease, really to corner, you know, your self grasping, uh, ignorant and self cherishing uh, attitude. You know, uh, you corner it by really kind of, you know. During during this kind of meditation, that you you get sense of really um, attacking this, uh, you know, attacking of the self. Then there, if you are uh, aware of the proper teaching, then you know you uh, you take the opportunity to uh, examine: is there really inherent or substantial existent I or not? You know, if you are fear. Then you 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 will ex, you know you will examine where is the fear coming from? Fear for who? So fear for me, I, isn't it? So then where is the I? Hmm? Where is the I? Hmm? Fear for what? Is a fear for harming this body, you know? And where where is this body? Where is this body? Uh, you see? Uh, mm, uh, uh, where 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 is, where where is the where is the hat? You know, is there is there any substantial existing hat within within this this uh, you know this part? Is there any substantial existing upper part of the body or different organs? You know, lower part of the body, etc. Mm -hmm. So you take the opportunity, to, uh, you know, to really to uh, define what is the existing eye and existing body, and what is the non-existent body and non-existent eye. You see. So therefore, <clears throat> uh, um, you see, when 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 we ordinary people, you know, when there's when the fear arises, intense fear arises, or, or intense shock, you know, uh, experiences, or, or even kind of, you know, knocking your hat, uh, then. Uh, mm, uh, then the the experience of you know very intense bliss or very intense pain you know so at that time then you know uh, your mind become very concentrated yeah, become very concentrated even though uh, it is painful even though it is blissful but that gather the you know the gross mind and that brings uh, one's concentration to to ever to to ever to figure it out you know, if we know what we are looking for, uh, such as I, you know, such as inherent I, uh, substance is just I and the form, etc. So you can use the, 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 you know, if you really fear, you know, through through this visualization, then that time you you uh, pause a bit, then try to do emptiness meditation. Mm. 
Mm. <clears throat> oh, then after that, imagine uh, extorting them. Uh, mm. uh, so, so very much you invite them to, you know, uh, to consume the scattered, uh, um, you know, uh, the entire your 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 flesh and the blood. Uh, you see, <clears throat> and 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 those uh, those hungry ghosts are very much, <clears throat> you know, those they are hungry ghosts who who only attach to human flesh, who only attach to human blood, and due to karma, they are only attached to your your flesh, you know, your blood, you know, like that. You see, so uh, right there, that you feel that they are vividly, and you are absolutely selfless. Uh, with, with so much compassion, uh, you know, and at the same time, with in the understanding of uh, completely um, lacking of, uh, you know, the belonging inherently, you know, to your body and to 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 yourself, and you make the charity, mm -hmm. and that way, then you visualize uh, extorting them, you know, eat meat, or you who like meat, you know, uh, um, so you know. So, so you you are kind of willingly, happily, you know, um, um, uh, offering the feast like that, you know, drink blood, or you who like blood, you know, uh, or king of demon, take my hat, or queen of demon, take my legs. You see, so there are different different uh, hungry ghosts that due to the uh, their past karma, uh, you know. They only can consume, and they only can they only attach to different 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 organs, different limbs, different part of your body, etc., like that. So you offer them accordingly, like this, uh, or the nine gods and the demons, you know. So they, they are they are different um, uh, elemental gods, or the you know uh, uh, sp uh, spirit gods, uh, then demons. Um, uh, we call you know uh, what you, what you call the mm, uh, mm, day and nian you know so hade uh, um, is is is, a, is is very much like spirits and the demons uh, you see so, so so and many of many of many of such beings are uh, you know formless beings and most of all you know they comes in the category of you know, predator beings, I like that. Uh, you who are so easily provoked, you know, take what is fell in, um, you know, take what is left in between. <clears throat> uh, so very much, uh, you, you know, you, you visualize them in the very hungry mood, very, very aggressive mood. And, you know, and, and this these beings are, you know, uh, by nature of karma, you know, they are very easily get, get uh, dissatisfied you know very easily get provoked etc you know so <clears throat> so you are very patiently uh, compassionately uh, you know you're making this charity like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you are in the haze eat them raw if you are not in haze uh, eat them cooked do whatever please you so so like that so you can think like that as you give us imagine that they Devour the meat, drink the blood, and chew all the bones as well. So you can visualize like that. <clears throat> so then after that, very important. Now your body is uh, no more. Mm -hmm. So even conventionally, that you you really, you know, giving up, uh, make charity, uh, you know, accordingly. Uh, you see. So therefore, uh, uh, you you exist, but. Uh, even conventionally, uh, you know, your existence is very much, de very, very much, very much the continuum, and the physical body that which you are very much labeled, you know, very much used as a basis to label as as a, as a as a human human being, uh, that completely, uh, mm, com uh, completely gone, you know, no more. You see, so so from here. Uh, you know, train our mind. It's a great sense of uh, detachment in relation to the body, and it is so helpful to through this kind of meditation. So helpful uh, to uh, 
uh, you know, uh, to, to detach from the body. And uh, as I mentioned before, you know, throughout the lifetime, uh, day to day, you know, uh, we will not have much problem uh, of emotion in relation to our body when our body uh, have changes, you know, such as old age, et cetera, sickness, et cetera. You know, we, we will not suffer um, as much as, as much, you know, uh, without, you know, such practices, uh, you see, such training, you see, so very helpful. Then especially when we pass away, uh, one of the greatest obstacle is the attachment, you know, the great obstacle, greatest suffering is uh, the, the, ex the, the idea of, you know, separating me from the most attached object, which is your body. Mm -hmm. And many beings, you know, accumulate so much negative karma to be born in the lower realm, <clears throat> especially in the Prata, hungry ghost realm, you know, due to the attachment, due to the uh, miserliness of your belonging of this body, uh, unable to let go, we create a very heavy karma, you know, to be born in the hungry ghost, you know, and those uh, negative circumstances can be avoided, uh, you know, through this practice. Mm -hmm. for, for it has been given to them. Uh, so now your body is no more, for it has been given to them. As for the mind, place it uh, naturally in the absence of intrinsic existence. So right there, uh, uh, with the help of, you know, uh, giving up entire the physical body, uh, you have a great uh, <clears throat> position uh, to really to, uh, realize emptiness, you know, to, to realize emptiness because in our ordinary life, the major obstacle is, you know, there's a kind of solid, tangible, you know, physical bodies there. And how much you say, I do not exist, how much you say, I do not exist substantially, or I do not exist inherently, it's so difficult, so difficult because still you can touch your your body and you, you know, you, you know, you can see your, your image in the mirror and how, how it is so hard for our ordinary mind to say that there's no substantial existence. You know, you can feel it, you can touch, uh, you see, you can pinch, uh, you see. So now <clears throat> by, by completely giving up the body, then it is so easy to meditate uh, on the, um, uh, the self that which is lacking of inherent existence, uh, even on the basis of the most 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 obvious basis of that body, uh, you see. <clears throat> so it, it, so it's it's, it's so uh, favorable uh, to to realize emptiness. So therefore, here now you meditate on emptiness. Uh, then, as the scope of your mind increase, the master says. So <clears throat> uh, uh, visualize flesh and blood pervading everywhere within your uh, mm, within your premier fence, uh, fence, then the entire region, uh, then the entire expenses of universe. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> uh, uh, you can also do this meditation uh, more, even more aggressive way, even more expense way, you know, not just, not just uh, that you did, uh, uh, you know, fill of your room, but now you can, did, you can do similar visualization you know, the area is, you know, entire universe, uh, you see, uh, the, the, the coverage of, you know, your body in multiplied, you know, numberless pieces, you know, uh, great amount of the blood, you know, in, in all over universe. So this are, is, you know, even to make it even, you know, to greater teasing to your, uh, your mind. Mm, uh, like that is is uh, <clears throat> you, you see so it, it will be it will be helpful uh, uh, to to the to the benefit of the practice. Mm. When you wish to ri uh, rise from this, so if you if you wish to end the session, end the session, then <clears throat> rise rise from this meditation, uh, dedicate the merit, and meditate in all things as a dreamlike. Okay, so uh, so uh, at the end, then 
uh, you do dedication. So as usual, you know, dedicated in bodhicitta, dedicated in emptiness. Mm. So uh, uh, dedicated in bodhicitta, you simply dedicate whatever the practices and the merit from it may be complete cause for self and numberless sentient beings fully enlightenment. When you dedicate in emptiness, then you simply understand the dedicated yourself, uh, the practice and the merit and the purpose that you dedicate all to be understood in the nature of emptiness. So that's, that's how you can dedicate. Mm -hmm. Then up, uh, after that, then uh, you come out uh, from the meditation as, as in post meditation. Then there uh, you gain the impact of the meditation of the emptiness. Uh, you, 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 you continue to train your mind in a dreamlike, you know, uh, all things as a dream like so whatever whatever experiences comes in your uh, you know your your perception everything to be interpreted uh, all like a dream like you know you know whatever you see as a dream like whatever you hear dream like whatever you experience dream like you know, you know like that uh, mm, uh, 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 you know in the dream you 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 experience things are uh, very much like real, but then when when you wake up, when you wake up from that uh, that sleep, uh, then you realize you know everything is just just idea, is no reality, no reality there. You know, <clears throat> not not actual thing uh, is there as 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 how you have dream, isn't it? So so in uh, so similar way. Every every experience is good and bad. Mm -hmm. We we believe as inherent existing, but then when we when you examine, uh, you know, and if you realize emptiness, or if you understand things from uh, you know uh, from the point of view of emptiness, then nothing exists the way how you uh, how you believe, how you apprehend, how you grasp uh, is very much. When you wake up from the sleep of ignorance of inherent existence, uh, then uh, with a uh, you know with a uh, awakened mind of uh, the wisdom of emptiness, <clears throat> uh, you see everything uh, you know is empty of in inherent. Uh, you see, so therefore, uh, due to this reason, you know you call as a dream like. Mm -hmm. So this is the fourth chapter, the chapter on giving flesh and blood, like that. So now the fifth chapter, mind training pertaining to Torma offering. So Torma uh, is a ritual cake, you know, ritual offering. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you know, it can be the traditional uh, ritual cake, you know, uh, uh, um, um, different deity has, you know, did, you know, due to different uh, scope of practice uh, can have a different shape, can have a different color, uh, different sizes, etc. But one dharma that which can use for all, which is uh, mm, uh, you know, uh, bulldor. I think some of you have you know uh, attended the SPC training to make dharma. So there's one dharma. Uh, is very much like 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 this, you know. Uh, the what do you call the the base is a bit bit thinner, then it's very much like our body like that, you know. Then the top part is 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 a bit sharp like that, you know. Mm. So so it's a bulldog. Well, uh, mm. uh, you can also uh offer just um uh biscuits and fruits as a as a torma offerings uh, you can do that and uh, generate the torma substance you can you can make uh, uh which is common to common to all by adding three whites and three sweets uh in the in the in the roasted flour mm, uh, wheat flour uh, etc you know mm, so the three whites uh, uh, milk, butter, yogurt are the three whites, three sweets, uh, honey, uh, then 
uh, yeah, rock sugar, uh, the brown sugar. Uh, so the, the three three sweets. Mm -hmm. So mm, then, if uh, if you have the uh, you know six medicinal herbs, sangdu six medicinal herbs, uh, which you can find in the money pills, you know, or money pay home pills. Or, mm, so you can crash and add that. Otherwise, you can get from you know the uh, Tibetan medical center or incense, you know, shops. You know, they, they, they have the six medicinal herbs powder. So you can add a little bit of that. <clears throat> then you can make the tolma. If you are unable to make from the flour, then you can, you know, get a biscuit that which, which you know, don't contain meat, alcohol, etc. free of that. And then on that biscuit, you uh, either you can offer the whole thing or either just take a few pieces. Uh, then you can sprinkle the in the six medicine herbs and you can also put you know three white and three sweet around it you can also do that <clears throat> yeah so the dharma offering again is one of a very very powerful practice so anyway i will i will uh, uh, read um, the text so fifth to engage in the mind training partly into dharma cultivating the thought. So again, you know, said motivation. I will attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all, all beings. And to this end, I will engage in the mind training part in the Dharma. Uh, then after that, now you visualize. Uh, uh, so so then there are, uh, you see, Dharma, like protector, protector Dharma offering. Mm. Uh, uh, like even in our, you know, the APMD prayer book, you know, uh, there's a protective prayers. Um, all the protective prayers uh, that involve Torma, even though there are certain prayers given, you know, a uh, clear name called Torma offering, like say Torma offering to Pandel Lamo, you know, uh, Torma offering to higher giver like that. But rest of the, you know, prayers, like praises to Siksam, uh, Siksam protector Mahakala, praises to Achieve the inner Kalarupa, uh, praises to Veshavanaya, uh, then um, uh, Pandalamo, uh, praises, praises to Pandalamo, mm -hmm. then praises, to, you know, the, um, the the prayers to Hayagiva, uh, all this, all this, you know, this, these are the, um, the Dharma Palas. Mm -hmm. uh, all these protectors are either you know, um, enlightened or either who reside in the ten bumi Buddhist path, you know, all the Arya beings uh, and their object of refuge. And, uh, you know, making Dharma offering uh, has a great uh, deal in relation to activating or, or creating conditional causes from, from the practitioner side to drive blessing uh, you know, of deities. Uh, blessing of you know uh, blessing of realizations blessing of success in the practices in activities you know in relation to dharma practices in relation to daily yoga practices you know most of these protectors are very much like like uh, assigned as attendant uh, to different deities and different buddhas you know uh, to help you know the practitioners uh, to 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 assist the practitioners, you know. So so when so these are very much always there to help us, but we need to create uh, conditional causes, you know, interdependent causes. And one of them is doing protector puja, you know. And 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 uh, within that, one of the practices is dharma offering. So when you do uh, the protector pujas, you know, if you're able to make uh, according with the different uh, protect the sadhana, you know, dharma, that would be wonderful. If not, in a, at least, you know, uh, or you can make, uh, uh, you know, one piece of uh, buldor, uh, you know, and that would be wonderful. Uh, if not, at least, you know, a few, few pieces of biscuits or fruits you, you offer, uh, then you perform the, uh, the protector prayers, you know, so that would be very meaningful. Then there are also, um, uh, you know, Dharma offering practice, uh, specifically in relation to Chen Rezik, 
uh, you know, you can practice, you know, hundred dharma offering practice, uh, ulambala or something like that. You know, the, the name of the, the dharma offering uh, is in relation to charity practice, which is very powerful practice to uh, help six realms sentient beings, in particular those in the lower realms. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the, those, this, this particular dharma offering practice is so helpful, uh, especially if someone passed away, you know, to, to purify to assist to purify their karma, condition to purify their karma, and guide them, you know, through the, um, you know, uh, virtuous, you know, uh, transition through intermediate state to next rebirth, etc., like that. <clears throat> okay, so whatever dharma that you do, uh, now visualize, um, visualize this world, the external environment, and the being within as expensive and white. Uh, container made of precious jewel. Mm -hmm. So the in, entire universe, you visualize the entire universe uh, as a container to, to host the Torma. Um, mm -hmm. And, um, and th this container, this universe is made up of precious gems, like, you know, diamond, gold, you know, silver, copper, brass, etc. like that. Uh, Im imagine, uh, then after that, imagine that your body is then cut into pieces, and this con uh, this container become filled uh, with meat and blood. Okay, so now here, uh, again, similar purpose. I'm not going to repeat uh, the similar purpose uh, why you are doing this practice. No, uh, you know, your bo your body uh, uh, cut into pieces and filled uh, filled you know this container with meat and blood. You know, so very much entire universe you know, is filled with your body and the blood. Mm -hmm. uh, then, <clears throat> uh, while focusing on that, uh, as you recite Om Ahum three times, uh, okay, focusing, uh, okay, container become filled with the meat and blood. Focusing on this, as you recite Om Ahum three times, imagine that they transform into uh, ambrosia. Okay, so, while you're visualizing uh, this container filled with the, your body, the meat and the, in the blood, uh, uh, then it's very much like right in front of you. You know, you are vividly, you know, viewing that. Or uh, then, uh, you know, uh, uh, recite Om Ahum three times. Or focusing on this, you can also you can also understand. You know, Mikpache is very much intent. Uh, to do something to this, this, this existence, the meat and blood in the container, uh, you know, for that purpose, then you recite the syllable, three syllable mantra, Om Ahum, you know, three times. Then imagine that they are transformed into a nectar, you see. So uh, Om Ahum, the, the last syllable, uh, the Hum, uh, you know, purifies the impurity, the impurity, of being, you know, the impure meat, impure blood, uh, including of the impure, if there's any impure substance in relation to the container, you know, there's there are a lot of impurities uh, of, of in the universe, isn't it? So everything, you know, bring about both the container and the substance in completely purified uh, from the power of syllable home. Then the syllable R, the, the middle one, actualize all those impure substance into a nectar, uh, you know, transform into a nectar. Uh, and then the syllable Om, the first one, uh, uh, that, um, you know, multiplied uh, um, this nectar into infinite. So you understand that. So focusing on that, you recite these three mantra and you understand that, you know, they transform into nectar. How? Understanding of the meaning of the three, three syllable omahum, and by the power of this particular mantra, able to bring about, uh, you know, actualizing the infinite uh, nectar, mm -hmm. blissful nectar, immortal nectar. Uh, then, after, then, as you recite the, the name of the four Tathagata, uh, such as uh, Radna Neka, imagine that all those who guard the sublime teaching such as Mahakala 
and the Sri Devi, such as all the protector name I mentioned. You know, he had given just two two protectors name, uh, <clears throat> Mahakala. Uh, very much, you know, uh, the you know most of us who practice Chenrezig um, and the compassion of Buddha. Then the main protector is Mahakala. Uh, then Sri Devi, referring to Pandalhamo, you know, which is again one of the main protectors of uh, of you know of 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 uh, uh, Tibetan Buddhist practitioner, you know, uh, all, all our uh, holy gurus, lineage gurus, you know, they practice uh, such such protector like Mahakala, Sri Devi, etc. You know, uh, as a, and so on. Uh, you know, there are other like Veshavani, etc. You know, uh, um, Kalarupa, etc. So like that. Who have you know these all all these protectors who have pledged to protect the teachings of the Buddha, and who utterly admire uh, admire the side of the positive force, uh, you know, mm, who whenever you perform virtue, you know they rejoice and they 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 become very active to assist us, uh, uh, and uh, their duty is you know they they pledge to uh, Buddhas and deities. Uh, to protect the Dharma and also help, you know, the practitioner. Mm. Uh, mm. Congregates uh, partake in the feast. So you, you visualize all these protectors and you're making offering to them uh, while reciting the four Tathagata's name. Uh, the first Tathagata's name <clears throat> uh, Maybe the translation, you know, here the Rana uh, Neka uh, in the in the Sanskrit, uh, the translation is that uh, the first one is the Tathagata many jewels. The name is called many jewels. Tathagata many jewels. Second one is the Tathagata holy beautiful body. Third one is Tathagata very gentle body. Fourth one is Tathagata free of all fears. So. Uh, when you recite that, you need to put your your palm uh, together like this. So if you happen to have a, a nectar, if you happen to be uh, the high sukhi tantri practitioner and you have you have a, you know uh, a nectar uh, either made you know uh, either in in the um, in uh, you know um, using the the alcohol or using uh, black tea and containing the nectar pill, mm? uh, whether it's in the actual, you know, the actual uh, kapali, uh, the skull cup, uh, or, uh, you know, this gold, silver, copper, brass, you know, uh, imitated uh, skull cup, or just, you know, bottle or, or whatever container that you are using it and which uh, you know the nectar, nectar. Uh, you know sometimes you you use this uh, what do you call the uh, this very uh, clear uh, alcohol. Uh, um, uh, what do you call whiskey? You you put the whiskey, then in there you add uh, the nectar pill. The the nectar pill must must have. Mm? Mm. Uh, um, mm. Or you use black tea, so you see. So, so I think it is a sidetrack. But you know, uh, uh, once you once you have the transmission of the ne nectar pill or the or the nectar that had the nectar pill from you know our gurus or other practitioners, as long as you have you have received just a drip of it, you know that is good enough. If you don't have an actual nectar pill, which is quite rare to find. Uh, so then, in order to sustain the nectar blessing, uh, uh, you know, um, forever, then uh, whenever, whenever the the um, if you are using whiskey it evaporates, or when you are using black tea it dry up, then uh, when you get a new new liquid, uh, you pour the old one onto the new, not the new one. Uh, you know, like, like let's say, let's say the, the whiskey, you know, pour into the your old nectar, not like that. If you pour into your old nectar, the 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 nectar transmission blessing disappeared. You know, it, it is like that. 
So you need to pour the old one, even if it is dried in your in your in your nectar bowl. If it's dried, you scrap, scrap it and put it into a new uh, liquid, whatever liquid you want to use. Pour it, then uh, that will still is you know sustain the 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 blessing of the nectar pill. Uh, you know the 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 blessed nectar pill. Uh, you see, so you can carry on like that. You know all the time. <clears throat> Uh, so that the actual nectar pill uh, blessing will never lose like that. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, so if you have, when you, usually when you do thorma offering, uh, you know, even you even if you do thorma offering, uh, even you don't have high school tantric initiation, uh, you know, you will still do this omahong practice in at, at least as a ritual ritual um, uh, a ritual. Uh, how to say, the part of the ritual. So then that time, then, of course, you know, you usually when you do the Thoma offering, you use Vajran bell, and you need to have Vajran bell, Damaru, and the nectar, uh, the Nangchue nectar. So you hold the Vajran bell, you know, you hold the Vajra at the right hand, bell at the left hand. So then when you recite Om Mahong, then, uh, 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 you see, uh, uh, when you recite Om Ahong, then uh, you, you're holding bell here, isn't it? Like that, yeah, bell. <laughs> oh, my bell is not here. <laughs> and you hold the bell here, then you use the, you use the ring finger, and say Om Ah, you know, Om Ah Hong, like this. You know, you do the Thoma, Om Ah Hong. You, you don't do like that. You know, don't don't do like this. You do like this Om Om. Like this, om ah om om ah om om ah like that. You can do three times like that. Mm -hmm. uh, then, then after that, when you are reciting the four Tathagata's name, then you have to put the palm together. You are still holding Vajra and bell. Then you have to hold palm together like this prostration. Then you have to recite, I prostrate to Tathagata many jewels. I prostrate to Tathagata holy beautiful body. I prostrate to Tathagata very gentle body. I prostrate to Tathagata uh, free of all fears. You know, in Tibetan, it's like that. Uh, so then that time the visualization is you know all those protectors uh, enjoying the feast of the nectar uh, the immortal nectar that you actualize using the impure substance of your contaminated body uh, meat and the blood and through the power of the mantra omahong which completely bring about purified and actualize into you know blissful nectar the most purest uh, feast and and they are enjoying abundance, you know, uh, unexhaustible way, uh, you know. So you, you, you understand like that. You offer like that. Uh, then, uh, and as you recite Namasawa Tata Gada Awa Logite Sambara Sambara Hum three times, or you have to recite this Namasawa Tata Gada Awa Logite Sambara Sambara Hum. Certain texts, uh, you know, they put Om Namasawa Tata Gada. Name Sawatada Gata all of the Om Sambara Sambara Hong. So here you just follow this. Name Sawatada Gata our look the Sambara Sambara Hong three times. So if you are using different Thoma offering texts, so whatever the mantra, whether there's Om or not, you use you 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 recite accordingly. So both are correct. That time, uh, imagine that they spontaneously partake of the offering. Then um uh, then utter, may all beings of the sixth realm accept this great feast of the Thoma uh, so that the accu uh, accumulation may be accomplished in the heart of all beings and myself. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so, so when you recite this, then, uh, then when you recite this, Namesada uh, Aluga Sambara Sambara Hong, you understand that uh, these protectors are enjoying on behalf of all the sentient beings. Mm -hmm. Then all the sentient beings are also completely blessed, uh, uh, you know, with the blessings uh, from, from, from the guests, 
of these dharma protectors uh, and accumulate extensive merit because of each and every single noble sentient being partake with you to make this extensive offering. So now, <clears throat> mm, then here, Name Sawadada Allah the Sambara Sambara. So then here, uh, you have to do this mudra. Nam, you know, Name Sawadada Allah the Om Sambara Sambara Hum. Name Sawadada Allah the Sambara Sambara Hum. So you have to do around your forehead. Name Sawadada Allah the Om Sambara Sambara Hum. Name Sawadada Allah the Sambara Sambara Hum. Name Sawatataka all of the Sambara Sambara home like this, you know. So it's a lotus mudra, it's very much like this lotus mudra, bit, bit bigger round or lotus mudra. Then after that, you know, around the head, you do like this, this one, you know, upper, upward, three times. Uh, then after that, um, then, then after that, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a stanza, Name uh, Sawatataka Sambara Sambara. Then recite the standard may by the power of my merit and so on. Then after that, then Dagi Sambe told the division. Chugging to Donagan the Summer, the Donagan the Summer. <laughs> now suddenly, uh, uh, suddenly, I uh, can remember. Dagi sambe to dani te jiri jiri chui yen to to na kanasu. Da dam jiri toba me ba jom jiri chui. So, uh, I think in, in the toma offering, you know, and even within the protector prayers, you know, I I don't know the the, the exact translation. So, so the, the word start with just the verses, you know, may by the power of my merit, uh, you know. So there's a at the end. At the end of the Tomo offering, uh, so you recite that. So when you recite that, then you have to ring the bell. Like that. Uh, so you recite just one time. Uh, it's very much. So it's very much. It's, it's, you know, the meaning is, uh, if you don't find the 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 prayer, then by the power of my merit, uh, by the power of my, my sincere uh, heart of, you know, uh, making offerings and benefiting sentient beings, uh, then the, by the power of the triple gem, then uh, by the power of the emptiness, um, then whatever purpose that I've engaged in this practice, all actualize accordingly. So the meaning is something like that. Oh, then after that, um, okay, so so there's I think in uh, three fifty seven. Okay, maybe it's here. Three fifty seven. Oh, here, here. So it's uh, it's in the note page, three fifty seven. The full stanza is like this: Through the power of my thoughts, through the strength of the Tathagata's blessing, and through the power of the ultimate expand as well. Uh, malevolent forces and those who harbor ill will, uh, whatever such interference there are, may they all be instantaneously vanquished. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. So, so very much, you know. Uh, so this is the this is the verse. So, you, so you can you can meditate. You can recite uh, like that. Okay. Okay, then now <clears throat> I will read. Now your body is no more. Uh, so then after that, then you meditate. Your no body is no more. Uh, for it has been taken away. Um, you, uh, you know, um, you made the feast to, to uh, um, as, you know, actualize into nectar and all the Buddhas, all the, all the merit fields, in, you know, uh, such as protect, protect, Dharma protectors. Uh, then, 
uh, also charity to all sentient beings. So as for your mind, place in naturally in the absence of intrinsic existence. So here again, uh, you, you meditate in emptiness. Uh, then when you wish to rise out of this meditation, dedicate the merit and meditate on all things as dreamlike and illusion-like. So this is exactly as I explained before. So you meditate the similar way. <clears throat> this is the fifth chapter, the chapter pertaining to Thoma offering. Okay. So <clears throat> uh, uh, very simple way, since the Thoma offering is very beneficial, uh, if you are unable to, you know, uh, recite or have um, uh, feel feel not familiar with the protective pujas, etc. You know, I mean, there are so many levels, very extensive Dharma offering and abbreviated like that. So, if you want to do a very simple, very short one, you know, uh, very much and according with this, you know, according, uh, you know, just following this particular Lojong text instead of searching so many other ritual texts, then it's similar to visualization and you can just uh, follow exactly like this, you know, no need to, no need to uh, go and, you know, do so many complicated rituals. You, 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 can, you can even just visualize, uh, you know, if you cannot uh, effort to even use Vajra and Bell, etc., like that. Or generally, that you wish to do Thoma offering, very simple way, then, you know, do, uh, yeah, you, you as, as I mentioned before, arrange, you know, even piece of biscuit, which is so easy to, to, to actualize. Mm -hmm. uh, even just that, uh, you know, even you cannot find the medicinal herbs or the three white, three sweet, doesn't matter. Just put the, the you know, fruit or, or, or medicine, uh, biscuits, you know, fruits, whatever, even just piece of grapes. Uh, and <clears throat> to refuge, bodhicitta, uh, prayer as a preliminary. Then after that, you bless that with Oma, Oma, Hong. Even you don't have a nangchua, no problem. You just, just, you know, understand the meaning and recite these three mantra, Oma, Oma. Hong. Then after that, then uh, you uh, recite the four Tathagata's prayers, uh, you know, uh, so when you do put the prostration posture like that, you know, four Tathagata's prayers. Uh, Mm, I prostrate to Tathagata Menijua, I prostrate to Tathagata Holy Beautiful Body, I prostrate to Tathagata Very Gentle Body, I prostrate to Tathagata Free of All Fears. Oh. Oh, then after that, then uh, you recite the uh, the mantra, the offering mantra, Namisawa Tathagata Aulog De Sambara Sambara Hong. Then uh, if you if you can do the, the mudra, then Namisawa Aulog De Sambara Sambara Hong. Namisawa Tathagata Aulog De Sambara Sambara Hong. Namisawa Tathagata Aulog De Sambara Sambara Hong. Or Namisawa Tathagata Aulog De Om Sambara Sambara Hong, whatever. Okay. So you recite three times. Mm. Uh, then after that, Dagi Sambi Tobana Dijiji Vichindo De Chugi Indun, Dona Ganda Sambara Deda Tam Chichiri Wa Toba Meba Jom Yuru Ji, as mentioned before, you know, through the power of my th uh, thoughts, you know, through the strength of Tathagata's blessing and through the power of the ultimate expense as well. Uh, Mevelin forces and those who harbor ill will, wherever such inference there are, may they all be instantly vanish and all my altruistic wishes for the benefit of uh, myself, for the benefit of my family members, for the benefit of all the sentient beings, all the way up to the enlightenment is actualized like that. Uh, then after that, then you can just do a short, you know, dedication in Bodhicitta, as I mentioned before. Chancho Simjoro Mujo Majo Majo Kone Kodo Pewar Show. Then dedicated in emptiness. Tony Tawari Bujo Majo Majo Kone Kodo Pewar Show. So, so, so that, or you can, uh, you know, do the, the, um, the, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. No, then you can add, you know, whatever dedication you like to add. You know, so this is very simple. Almost everybody can do any time you can do like that. Yeah, the, the, the practice of Dharma offering also that you can do any time. Uh, you can do any time, mm, uh, morning, at the night, you know, any time you can do like this. Okay, so I move on. Uh, The session six, mind training pertaining to natural elements. Uh, six is to engage in mind training pertaining to natural elements. Uh, 
uh, as stated in the Guide to Buddhist Ways, Way of Life, uh, like great nat uh, natural elements such as earth and like space, may I always become for countless beings uh, diverse form of uh, sustenance. Yeah, sus sustenance. <laughs> oh. So then again, this is uh, again in, in a similar purpose, but in a, you know different uh, meditation, uh, diff different ways of med meditation. In particularly, you know, using uh, uh, the tools of element. Okay, so I will read first. Cultivate the thought. Uh, I will attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings, and to this end, I will engage in the mind training, partnering to the natural elements. Then imagine that your flesh and bones dissolve into the external elements of earth. Mm. So meditate like that. Uh, it's, you know, <clears throat> uh, it's all the all the the phys you know physical uh, elements such as bone, flesh and bone, uh, in the category of uh, uh, earth elements. So therefore, ultimately, it dissolves into earth elements. You know. Uh, when when we when we when we die, you know, it dissolves into the different four elements, uh, all our elements it dissolve like that. <clears throat> uh, it is also, you know, when we do the uh, when we experience the dissolution of the elements, and when we meditate on the dead dead process and dissolution, you know, is very very much related to the, related to this training. So when you have familiarity of this training, then when you do the the dissolution training, you know, is is it will be very easy. <clears throat> so then imagine that your flesh and bone dissolve into the external element of earth, your blood and fluid dissolve into the water element, your breath uh, into the wind, uh, while your body heat dissolve into the fire element. This body now transform into the four elements of nature. Uh, serve the welfare of sentient beings. Oh, so the, the, the you know, you, it's not just vanish, but it dissolve for a purpose. The purpose is serve the welfare of sentient beings. Uh, earth, uh, through it is nature of solidity and firmness. You know, uh, this like, like our natural wall, the earth, you know, because of that, you know, including, um, you know, we get, uh, the uh, the foods we also you know ourselves can able to sustain you know can can hold on uh, because of the earth you know otherwise we won't so similar way like that mm. Mm. water through it is nature of moisture and and, and uh, uh, fluidity so mm. uh, and also uh, yeah so the earlier the earth uh, you can also you know, understand like uh you know uh, it produce uh you know those who those uh, beings who are lacking of food then you serve as a very fertile earth uh you know those uh, lacking of medicinal substance then become um fertile ground to grow medicinal substances uh, where there are uh, a lot of elemental disturbances, mm. earthquake, etc. Then you know you serve uh, the the dissolve of your flesh and bone into the earth, serve as a, a very firm, solid ground. You know, uh, for the safety of, of beings, uh, etc. An example like that. Uh, then the the blood, the fluid, you know, all dissolve into water element, and the water serve as you know drinking water. You know. Uh, 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 water to moisture the plants, etc., uh, etc. Et you know whatever benefit there, that, that you know the importance of water. You know you can transform into that. Your your fluid, you know, dissolve into that purpose. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Fire through it is nature of heat and burning. You know, so. Uh, and wind through it is nature of lightness and mo uh, mobility. Uh, mm, 
the sun and moon become the two eyes and serve the welfare of sentient beings. Uh, you see? Mm. So you can visualize like that. You know, entirety of your your element dissolve into nature and the nature become, you know, in the service of sentient beings' needs like this. Imagine that sentient beings eating food, uh, consuming your flesh, those wearing clothes uh, uh, clad in your skin, and those uh, quenching their thirst are uh, drinking your blood. And then visualizing that the uh, negative karma and the suffering of sentient beings uh, converge upon you, and that all your happiness and virtues come to fruition upon sentient beings. Uh, Mm, so you can you can you can understand like this, uh, you, you know. <clears throat> uh, you can understand that uh, that your entirety of your your elements become useful, you know, uh, through through your altruistic uh, dedication, uh, you know, mm, uh, uh, those liquids for the for the Buddhas for the for the for the devas. And for the yeah for the De Buddhas uh, uh, and Bodhisattvas for the devas you know become a nectar for the humans you know all become like uh, pure water for those uh, like predators you know uh, you know they get the blood you know according with the individuals uh, you know karmic needs you know all your fluid in turn that similar similar like um, uh, the rest of the other elements. You know, for the usage and for the benefit of a different individual beings' needs, you know, you can visualize like that. You know, thus meditate on the reverse and exchange of the, these two situations. And and uh, before than that, uh, as I read, uh, you do the Tonglen practice uh, by giving all those uh, benefits. Uh, uh, you also take all the inconvenience and sufferings, limitations of sentient being upon you. Uh, you know, ripen up on self grasping and self charging attitude and bring about purifications, root causes of suffering in you, suffering in others. Uh, then abide them in the state of, you know, uh, blissful states of the pure land, enlightenment, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, like that. Uh, then mentally take the root of the virtues of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and imagine that they come to fruition upon sentient beings. You know, not only dedicating of your elements and your virtues, merits of past, present, and future, but also uh, you gather to the virtues and merit of all the past, present, and future Buddhas, uh, Buddhisattvas, gurus, and the sentient, uh, sentient beings, or including, you know, even though here you say Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas, you know, you can also imagine all the merits, <clears throat> then uh, rejoice in them, then accumulate abundance of merit upon that. Then dedicate to the rest of the other sentient beings a benefit. You can also just do simply um, gather the merit of all the Buddhas and Buddhists according with you know the word here. Uh, then you dedicate that um, accordingly, you know, uh, in the in the needs of the sentient being, you know. And so those merits in the form of protection, in the form of medicine, in the form of the shelter. So you can visualize according with uh, uh, what you can afford to, you know, like that. Uh, imagine that human beings become free from negative karma and suffering, and having generated the mind, mind in, uh, aspiring for supreme enlightenment, they accomplish the two accumulations and ten Buddhahood. So you can do that, uh, um, you know, individually uh, to each and each and every six realm beings, like what, like here the human. You know, you by doing this by by dedicating these merits to the merits and blessings to the sentient uh, for the human being, then they purify their karma, their sufferings, you know, and that caused them to generate uh, aspiring and engaging bodhisattva uh, mind and practices. Then they able through that they accomplish the merit method, merit wisdom, and including of actualizing. You know, Buddhahood, Buddha's form body and Buddha's wisdom body. You can think like that. You can do the similar way uh, to animal, uh, was it gods, demigods, preta, animal, preta, and helping. You can do according like that. Well, then after that, as you recite Om uh, seven times on the body composed of the four elements, um, imagine that your body transforms into uh, embodied. So here, uh, the teaching emphasizes to recite 
Oma Hong seven times. Uh, and so there, there are, there are, you know, you, you know, yeah. So it's it's a it's it's a different transmission. You know, some three times, some seven times. You know, some many times like that. So you can do accordingly here seven times. Then that cause this your body uh, uh, that transform into the element um, or become. Hmm? Uh, four element. Imagine that you know your body transform into uh, transform into uh, nectar. Mm. You see, Om Aung seven times on the body composed of the four element. Uh, so your body. Imagine that your body transform into the nectar. Imagine that the container too is filled with the wisdom beings nectar. Uh, the container the, in the universe that fill with your your body. And, uh, now which is. Uh, nectar, transform into nectar, add it with the nectar of the wisdom being. So the nectar from the, all the celestial beings of the Buddhas, uh, which descend from the heart of the uh, Buddha and Bodhisattvas. Uh, uh, imagine that the container is also filled with the nectar and vital essence of Tushita. So here, specific meditation, uh, that nectar carry the impact uh, whoever tastes it uh, will born, you know, will reborn into Tushita Pure Land. The northern, the uh, continent, uh, Uttara Kuru, mm -hmm. and the entire world, uh, and the entire world system, uh, is the is the Pure Land where Buddha Maitreya resides. The Pure Land where Lama Tsongkhapa resides. Uh, 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 then, as you offer uh, the um, uh, embosses the nectar first to the teacher and meditation deity, next to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, and then to the being of the six realm, uh, you can offer you know accordingly like that. Uh, imagine that as a result, all of them attain the non-conceptual wisdom of Dharmakaya. You know, uh, the six realm beings by tasting the nectar, all of them, they actualize uh, the uh, full enlightenment, you know, by actualizing the non-conceptual wisdom of the Dharmakaya. Now your body is no more. Uh, uh, for, for you have offered it to the teacher, meditation deity, Buddha, Bodhisattva, and the beings of the six realm. As for your mind, place it naturally in the absence of intrinsic, uh, intrinsic, intrinsic existing. Then engage in the meditation uh, and mantra recitation of the meditation deity uh, as before and dedicate the root of the virtue. Mm -hmm. So again, this practice um, you can do according with uh, your own different meditation of deities. You know, you can relate to generalistic practice, you can relate to uh, different Dhamma protector, like higher giver, etc. Uh, you know, according with your meditation deity, uh, then uh, right here, recite the mantra of the meditation deity. You know, you can you can accumulate some mantra, like if it's an example, Chenrezig, then right here, you know, you recite, you accumulate Omani Pemihung as much as possible, you know. Mm. Uh, then uh, then at, at the end of that, then you dedicate, you dedicate a merit in Bodhicitta and emptiness. So this is the sixth chapter, the chapter on the mind training, pertaining to the natural elements. Okay, thank you. So I think I will, I should stop here and we will continue next week. Thank you very much. So we do um, a short dedication. So whatever merit that we accumulate from this session and uh, the merit we accumulate in the past and will accumulate in the future and all the merits of the past, present, future Buddhas, uh, Bodhisattvas, Gurus and sentient beings. May this collective merit be a complete cause for numberless sentient beings to be free from all the sufferings and cause it is causes, karma and delusion, actualize the temporary happiness after the ultimate happiness with enlightenment accordingly. May this collective merit be a complete cause, uh, the pandemic, uh, the natural disaster, the war, the famine, um, you know, uh, the conflicts and, and inconvenience that is happening of all in the world, in particular world, in particular state, in particular uh, home, in, in particular individual, completely bring into 
bring to end by the power of this merit and actualize world peace, uh, actualize uh, peace and happiness, protection, and virtue and enlightenment accordingly. May this collective merit be a complete cause. All the beings who pass away, in particular in the last 49 days, and also especially those of who requested uh, uh, prayers from me, from our gurus, <clears throat> may they be free from suffering of death, suffering of intimidate suffering of rebirth, and actualize um, into the pure land. Uh, then within that uh, rebirth, the actualized state of full enlightenment. May this collective merit be a complete cause, uh, also uh, dedicate to, to uh, those, um, uh, if, if anyone in, in, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, Lojong teaching attendees, uh, yourself or your family members, uh, whoever may be, uh, even in case going through financial difficulties, health difficulties, emotional difficulties, relationship difficulties, uh, whatever it may be, and, or, and also those of who ask my prayers dedication, prayers dedication for our gurus. May this collective merit be a complete cause to overcome all this difficulty right away without delay even a moment and actualize perfect health, happiness, lasting happiness, full of altruistic virtue uh, and enlightenment accordingly. May this collective merit be a complete cause. Uh, all the leaders of the world, uh, then the leaders of the, all the organizations and the, whoever lead the family and yourself who lead your life, free from negative emotions uh, and heart filled with altruism and altruistic attitude, loving kindness, compassion uh, and wisdom of emptiness, selfless wisdom of emptiness. So that anyone under their leadership can able to enjoy only peace and happiness and virtue accordingly. May this collective merit be a complete cause. <clears throat> All the virtuous institutions, uh, the monasteries, nunneries, and dharma centers, uh, free from all the um, uh, obstacles and actualize all the conducive conditions to preserve the virtue and the dharma in most sensitive learning and as well as actualize realization on, on the stages of path accordingly. Uh, dedicate may this collective merit be a complete cause. All the good people in this world, like His Holiness Dalai Lama, Kyoto Lama Surabhuchi, all your spiritual gurus, yourself, your family members, always enjoy good health, long life, and fulfill all the aspirations accordingly. <clears throat> may this collective merit be a complete cause. And may we too able to bring perfect in the practice of altruism by eliminating. Uh, the the self cherishing attitude and self grasping ignorance, and actualizing uh, the two buddhicitta and the two accumulation of merit, and including of the two result of Buddha's form and wisdom body, without delaying even a moment. Uh, then we uh, understand all that ourself and the merit and the practice and the purpose that we dedicate. All lies in the nature of emptiness, interdependent rising. So then please do dedication. If you have any individual dedication, well, I recite the dedication prayers. Oh, ya wa de nyo do da lama zanje do bi ne do wa chi ya malu ba de zala guebara isho. Chanjo zemjo rembo je ma je banam je jo je je wa ne ba me ba ya bo ne go do be wa je do ne da wa rembo je ma je banam je jo je wa ne ba me ba ya go ne go do be wa je ne da wa rembo je ma je banam je jo je wa ne ba me ba ya go ne go do be wa ra jo kare ra be go be je ngan de pe da de wa ma le nyo me ne che re se wa te ne ja do cha be se de ba do de jo je tu so ja je ja ngo je be de se jo be be ko so do ba je cho so go be le me do do ba da so de ji ngo do sha de ji ジョージョーラメゴゼラデジナンワティレジョージョージャマダロサデベドメサソンジェトウエムセタドジェジョージェキャワコドヤンダナマタメチジョラロンジェチサダラムジェンデラゾネドジェチェンジェゴンバニョ
Oh,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,